What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Extra Turns. We have a very exciting one for you today. We've got uh, all CAG members, Jim from the Spike Feeders, Olivia Gobert Hicks, and Rachel Weeks. Pretty I know exciting, all right, of those people. <laughs> They're my friends. <laughs> They're also like super important because the CAG is the Commander Advisory Group. Yes. Uh, they are people that are representatives of Commander to the people that run our format. Yeah, the Rules Committee. The, the Rules Committee. So they are a big part of Commander and it's awesome to see them play some magic. Yeah, and Josh Lee Kawhi is also on the CAG. So we have four members of the CAG all playing a Commander game together for you guys. It's going to have huge ramifications for the future of the format. Oh, yeah, bans because of this, right? Bans because yeah. of this episode, um, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get into that, we got to call out our sponsor, channelfireball.com slash commands. That's the best place to go for all of your singles, sealed products, commander products. Baldur's Gate uh, just came out, so make sure you pick up a draft booster box so you can draft with your friends. Double Masters is coming out soon, so you can pre-order the stuff. Channel Fireball has all verified sellers. They're all LGSs that are vying for your business, so it has excellent prices, very professional uh, service on it. You'll always get nicely graded stuff, and it's always just a joy to use. Again, channelfireball.com slash command. If you get to put the slash command on, just type in the code command at checkout. It'll do the exact same thing. Support the channel, uh, helps us out a lot. We also have an excellent sponsor in Ultra Pro. They have all the deck boxes, sleeves, play mats, everything that makes your battlefield look super, super awesome. You can find Ultra Pro everywhere at your local game store, but if you're looking for something specific, Ultra Pro has an online store so you can find the exact art that you're looking for and make sure that your commander deck looks the best. Yeah, that's shop.ultrapro.com slash command. Uh, Usually always support your LGS, but oftentimes Ultra Pro products are in pretty high demand. They sell out a lot. Uh, so sometimes your LGS won't have that specific play mat that you're looking for. Go to shop.ultrapro.com slash command and you'll be able to find basically whatever you could want or need on there. So great spot. Uh, Murph? Yeah. Um, speaking of play mats and, and awesome. <laughs> and awesome, yep. What am I looking at here? So this... What is this majestic beast? So this is our new playmats before the storm. It's a lightning tiger. It's a lightning tiger with an archer. Uh, so this is our Kickstarter that's going on right now for this playmats. Uh, it's not got too much time left. Gosh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Okay, I love so it a lot. people can get this on Kickstarter. Yes. And if they miss it on Kickstarter, um, it's gone forever. Yeah. So one round of printing and yes. then done. Yeah. Limited edition. The way, the way that we usually use do our Kickstarters is we find a product we think is cool. We put it up on Kickstarter and then you have your 30 day window or whatever it is to uh, place your order. Then we'll make everything to order and then we'll never make it again. So, this is so cool. <laughs> if you think it's cool, which I think it's very cool, uh, go on over to Kickstarter, lock in that order right what now. What commander does this go best with? Do you think you'd play like a cat deck? Ooh, that would go in a Boro deck? Or do you think you'd play like a spell slinger deck? Oh, Archer Tribal. I need to build an Archer reach, Tribal deck to go reach, with this. Reach decks. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cats reach all the time. They jump. It's, it's it matches. Oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, Love it. DJ, we got a game to watch. Oh yeah, let's get into the game. How's it, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Extra Turns. This is a very special one because we have some, how should I say, distinguished guests. What's up, Spikes? Jim here from the Commander Advisory Group. If you don't already know me, I run a channel called The Spike Feeders, where we do combo explanation videos, podcasts on the philosophy of the format, and a ton of Commander gameplay. And I am so hyped to be here for my very first episode of Extra Turns. Hey, everyone. It's Olivia Gobert Hicks. I am also a member of the CAG. I stream Commander gameplay three nights a week on Twitch. I am a game night and I'm excited for my first time here on Extra Turns. Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Weeks. I am also a member of the CAG. You might have recognized me from game nights, but I also have a podcast called Commander Sphere and I do live play D&D every Monday on a show called Better Than Heroes. I am excited to be here on Extra Turns and crush some fellow CAG members. The commander I'm playing today is the least reverent medium. My commander pumps out spirits for every token I make, so I plan on making a bunch. Plus, I filled the deck with loads of cards to give me value when the creatures enter the battlefield or die. Between my aerial army and my aristocratic death triggers, I'll have no shortage of ways to annihilate my opponents with my apparitions. 
Today, I'm giving a second chance to one of my decks from Game Nights. It is Shurikai, Genesis Engine. I love this deck because my commander is already a value engine. I want to maximize that by playing a bunch of untappers that can let me activate it multiple times a turn. Then, I'll pump up my pilot army so they can drive me to victory. Leading my deck is Kaidel and Timna. I call this the Aether Lich deck. First, I'll die by assuming my true Lich form. From there, I want to gain big chunks of life to draw tons of cards until I find one that can drag my opponents down with me to the grave. My commander today is Feldegriff, but I have Karuga as a companion. This isn't the group hug deck you might expect. This is a hippo combo deck. Once I've assembled the pieces, I'll use Feldegriff's third ability to give out unlimited hippos. Then turn them against their controllers with a suite of sneaky tricks. All right, it's time to start your engines. I'm gonna die or die trying. Winning this game is the least I can do. I, Hippopotamus, must win this game. All right, is everybody ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. I was born ready. All right, I will drop a turn and I will play Balagad Sanctuary Tapped. Pass to nice. you. Okay, I'll drop for a turn. I will play Planes and then. I'm just showing off. Soul Ring. Oh Ooh. no. Altar of Dementia, pass. Oh wow. no. Wow. Okay. All right, we'll draw for a turn. Um, I'm gonna play a planes also, and I have a turn one play. Not as good as a soul ring, but it is a skull clamp. Also pretty good. Yeah, yeah. not be good. not bad. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play this Undergrowth Stadium, and I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. We'll play a Boulder Loft Pathway once again. Pass yeah. the turn. <laughs> Crushing it. My turn. I'll untap. Draw a card. I'll play a swamp. I will tap a planes. Play a Soul Warden, and I'll pass. Okay. Mm. Well, that, that could have been a lot worse. I think we can all admit. So, you know, I'm feeling <laughs> actually better than yep. I was a second ago. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I will untap. I will draw. I will play this Glacial Fortress. I do have a Plains. Okay. And then I'm going to tap two, and I'll play a Talisman of Progress, and pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'll play this Vault of Champions, and pass the turn. All right. One tap, draw for turn, play an island as my land for turn, and I will cast an overgrowth on my Balagad Sanctuary. Sweet. And I'll pass the turn. All right, my turn, I'll untap and draw. I will tap two and play Intangible Virtue, and I will play Castle Lock Flame for my land. That's it for me, I'll pass the turn. All right, untap. I will draw. All right, I'll play a Hallowed Fountain untapped, so I'll go to 38. First blood. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll tap two, I'll play a Mind Stone. Then I will tap three, and I will play a Kelpie Guy! Hey. Good! Hey. And that's a creature entering, so I will trigger Soul Warden and gain one life. Going to 41. All right, that's it. I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play this Underground C. Fancy. Yeah. <sighs> And we're gonna keep it fancy. I'm gonna cast a Ristic Study. CDH, Whoa. oh my goodness. I don't wanna brag or anything. <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Uh, okay, I will untap and draw for turn. I will play a Forbidden Orchard as my land for turn. And then I will cast a Leyline of Anticipation. And I will pay the one for your Ristic Study, oh, are you Jim. sure? And I did tap the Forbidden Orchard when I cast that. So Jim, to make it up to you, I will give you a 1-1 one, one spirit. All right. <laughs> that spirit token will trigger Soul Warden. I will gain one. Go to 42. And I'll pass to you, Olivia. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw. Okay. I will tap out here and play Felice. Are you paying the one? I cannot. All right. <laughs> uh, Soul Warden will trigger. I'll go to 43 and I will pass the turn to Josh. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Then I will pay four, and surprising no one, I will play my commander, Shorakai, Genesis Engine. I'm not gonna pay for the Rustic Study. Thank you. I'm going to immediately activate Shorakai. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will make a pilot, and then I will draw two, and then I will discard a card, which will be Deep Analysis. Uh, the pilot enters, uh, Soul Warden will trigger. I'll go to 44. And then I'm gonna play an Azorius Chancery, bouncing at my planes. Back to my hand. Uh, do I want to clamp? Nope, I'll pass turn. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card. <laughs> that card was that bad? <laughs> hey, just remember that card, you should probably cut it from the deck. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it just changes the math of my turn. It's, it's a good card. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to play this ancient tomb as a land for turn. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
That does change mana. Change the plans, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to tap four mana, taking two, going to 38, and I'm gonna cast my commander, Timna the Weaver, with one mana floating. Trigger Soul Warden. I'll go to 45. And with my one mana floating, I'm gonna cast an Argothian Enchantress. Oh, good, Soul Warden trigger. To 46. Then I'm gonna move to combat and I will attack you, Rachel. With my gift for you. <laughs> uh, I will take the one, go to 39. Okay. And in my post combat main phase, Timna will trigger. I will lose one and draw a card. And I'm gonna discard the hand size, uh, getting rid of this nefarious lich. Are you gonna be okay? You're getting rid of liches? Oh dear. That means there's other liches. We in got the a plan. Uh -huh. We got a plan. All right, I will untap. And I'll draw for turn. I'll cast a Sky Shroud claim. Uh, and I will pay for the Rhystic Study. Uh, and I will search my library and I will find a Breeding Pool and a Forest. Breeding Pool will come in untapped, so I will take two damage and go to 37. Now that I remember I have a Ley Line of Anticipation, <laughs> I will pass the turn to you, Olivia. <laughs> I will untap and draw my card. All right, I will tap four and play Felidar Retreat. Are you paying for Rhystic Study? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't have a land for turn because oh, no. I'm great at magic, so I'm going to not swing and pass. Oh, that's that's brutal. I was like, if there's a cat coming for sure, or a beast, yeah. or whatever they no, are. Oh yeah, well, sometimes I gotta psych people out too. <laughs> Just like Rachel's late line, it's fine. <laughs> I'm super psyched out by both of the things that happened there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I will untap. I will draw. I suppose I'll start by clamping my pilot. Don't worry. Don't worry. This young, <laughs> she was so young. This career pilot. promising pilot. It's so rude. And then I'll draw two cards. All right, I will play a planes, and it will be tapped because I'm going to play the white Rhystic study. Oh, excuse you. That's for Sentinel. Yeah. Would you like to pay the one for the blue Rhystic study? Um, <laughs> I will pay one for Rhystic study. I will gain a life from you will. Soul Warden. Up to 47. Yeah, I'm gonna respond to the Esper Sentinel sure. just so I'm not giving two people cards. I'm gonna pay three and cast a ghostly prison. And you're gonna give me a spirit, right? Um, I'll be nice and not use it against you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Olivia, you may have a spirit. I get okay. spirit. Uh, spirit trigger soul warden. Up to 48. That's gonna trigger Rhystic Study. Uh, yes. Yeah. I cannot pay for the, that Rhystic Study. So, this is a value-laden turn. That's all I'm gonna do, Jim. Go ahead. On your end step. All right. I'll get another spirit from Felice. Yep. This one has flying. Oh, that one's worse. Soul warden trigger. Up to 49. Okay, let me just untap all my stuff and I'll draw for turn. And then I'm gonna cast this Golgari Signet. Hmm. Uh, and take two damage off the Ancient Tomb. Esper Sentinel trigger. You know what? I'm gonna pay for it. Cool. Then I'll play this Tainted Sigil. Nice. Good. Card sweet. Uh, then I'm gonna move to combat, and uh, Rachel. You gonna pay for Ghostly Prison, Jim? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass it to you. Delightful. <laughs> I will untap and draw for turn. I will play a planes as my land for turn. And I will very coolly pass <laughs> the turn. Oh. oh yeah, we remember the two permanents we have on board. Yeah. Uh, I'll untap and draw my card. I will play a swamp for turn. Oh, I will dear. acquire a kitten. Yep. Uh, that'll trigger Soul Warden. I will go up to 50. So you've made one token so far this turn? I have turn. made one token this turn. Uh, I will tap four, and then I will play Dramatic Finale. Are you paying for Rhystic Study? Are you paying for Esper Sentinel also? I will pay for both. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. You two got ringed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will go to combat. Um, I will swing the Flying Sprit. It's a 3-3 three, three now, is that right? Yes. It's uh, made of Josh. <laughs> <laughs> my 3-3 uh, three, three spirit is coming at you, my friend. Okay. Before blocks, I will activate Shorakai. I will draw two, and then uh, I will discard a polluted delta. Okay. All right, and then I'll use my Kelpie guide to untap Shorakai. Okay. And I will tap it a second time. Okay. Draw two, and uh, oh yeah, I will make two pilots. Soul Warden twice from the pilots. <laughs> Up to 52. Um, and then I will discard a prairie stream. Okay, I will not block. I will take three. Hey oh. And I will go to 35. I am out of mana. Do not have a second main play. I'll pass it to Josh on my end step. Because I made one token already this turn, my commander will trigger. I will make a second flying spirit. Soul Warden trigger, up to 53. I'll untap everything, and I will go to my draw step, and I will draw my card. Plain Islands. Uh, and then, it's really hard not to just skull clamp one of my pilots. 
and draw two. Ugh. All right, and then I will tap two. I'll play a liquid metal torque, which I'll immediately tap with my talisman to play a arcane signet. Ristic study triggers. I will pay for both ristic ah. studies. Oh. Then I'll go to my end step. I have eight cards in hand, so I will discard an adventure's fair. And I will pass the turn. That's all I can do. Okay, I'll untap all my things here, draw a card, play this godless shrine untapped. I'll take two and go to 33. And I'm going to cast a creature. <gasps> Thanks, so you're friend. welcome for this. Okay. I'm going to cast Academy Rector. Oh, good. Uh, I will respond to the Academy Rector. I'm going to cast Beck. I'm a loser. Baby. <laughs> yeah. So we are all thinking it. I will pay for Esper Sentinel and Ristic Study. And I can play it at instant speed because of the ley line. All right, so that resolves. Then Academy Rector resolves. And I draw a card from Academy Rector entering. Mm-hmm. And because of Soul Warden, I will gain one life. Up to 54. And then I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. On your end step, I am going to flash in a defense of the heart. Oh. And I am going to pay for the Aristic Study trigger, and Olivia will get a spirit from the Forbidden Orchard. That creature entered the battlefield, so I will gain a life. Up to 55. And then I will draw a card for the spirit entering. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I feel like that is going to be really, really bad. I can't let that happen. Okay. I will cast Swan Song. Ooh, Mm -hmm. spicy. I will pay for the Rhystic Study. Okay. Defense of the Heart is countered. And I will make up an ugly bird token, (laughs) which triggers back, so I draw a card. (laughs) You're in receipt of a bird, Soul Warden sees it. I go to 56. Mm -hmm. Since it was on your end step, Felice doesn't see it. She looks at the beginning, so I don't get a token. Okay. Uh, I will untap and draw for turn. Uh, I will play an island as my land for turn, and I'm going to pay three to put Karuga into my hand. Uh, and I will pass the turn. All right, I'll untap these things, draw my card for the turn. I'm going to play Elenda the Dusk Rose. Oh. Pay one for Ristic Study? Yes. Uh, I will gain a life from Elenda entering, go to 57. Can't attack Rachel because I paid for Ristic Study, so it's Jim's fault, so I'll send one spirit at you for three. All right, I'll take three. Going to 30. Great. I'm going to pass. On your end step, I'm going to tap my Kelpie Guide. Okay. Untap my Chancery. Tap my Chancery. I'll be floating a blue to activate my Shorakai. I will draw two. I will make a pilot. So one will gain me a life. 58. I'll discard a Salundi Vision. All right, let me untap everything here. And then I will draw my card for the turn. I'm going to play a Strip Mine as my land for turn. And then uh, I will tap one and I will play a Voltaic Key. Ristic Study Trigger. Pay for the Ristic Study. Nice. All right, I'll tap three, <laughs> and I'll play a Sword of Feast and Famine. Hmm. So why are you looking at me? Because I'm looking at them to see if it resolves. Oh, I got nothing. Yeah, yeah, Ristic Study Trigger. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I will pay for the Ristic Study. Happens? Mm-hmm. Yep. Then I will pay two, and I will equip that to one of my pilots. Then I will pass the turn. Okay, let me just untap all my stuff and I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play this Tundra as my land for turn. And then I'm gonna move to combat. Yep. And Josh coming yep. at you with a Academy Rector. Mm. Well, it's the dilemma of is my pilot worth a card? I don't think it is, so I will block with my 1 1 pilot. Okay. Pilot down. And when that dies, Alinda gets a counter. Yep. And then I'm gonna cast this Children of Corliss. And because of Soul Warden, I will gain one life. Up to 59. And then I think I'm going to cast multi format all star or a tog. <laughs> or a tog! A floyal one. It's pretty. That creature entered the battlefield, so I will gain a life. Uh, then I'm just going to pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I will cast a Farhaven Elf and I will pay for the Rhystic Study trigger. Farhaven okay. will trigger Warden. 61. When that enters, I'm going to search my library. I'm going to find a forest and it enters the battlefield tapped. I am also going to cast Idyllic Tutor. Are you paying the one? I am not. All right. I tapped Forbidden Orchard. Um, oh, right. They're Jim, all... you may have a spirit. Nice. I'll make another spirit. And because of Soul Warden, I will gain one life. Up to 62. In response, I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. I'm going to pay for the Esper Sentinel. A lot of tutoring happening. I don't like it. Mm-mm. And I'll search my library, and I'm going to find this Solitary Confinement. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. That's scary. Put it on top of my library. I did not pay for Rhystic Study and Esper Sentinel, so you both draw a card. Uh, and now Idyllic Tutor will resolve. I'll search my deck for an enchantment, and I'm going to find Psychic Possession. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I untap. And I draw for turn. Uh, I will play a Hollowed Fountain as my land for turn. So I will take two damage. 
And I will pass the turn. Okay, my turn, I will untap and drop. So I'm gonna tap three and play Kaya, Geist Hunter. Uh, are you gonna pay the one for that? Sure, I'll pay. Okay. Before combat, I'll put a plus one on Kaya, Geist Hunter. There we go, four. Creatures will gain death touch and I will put a counter on the cat and make it a five five. And then, Jim, I'm gonna attack you with the three three with flying and a three three on the ground. Josh, three three with flying, three three on the ground. No big deal. Well, I think I'm gonna activate Sure Kai because there's almost no chance I don't do that anyway. Right. So I will draw two and then uh, I will discard a Grim Monolith. Ooh. And I will make a pilot. I will gain a life with sword. Up to 63. Okay, I'm gonna block the ground creature with my pilot. You got it. I'm gonna take it. So your pilot will die. Alenda will see it and get a counter. Yep, and then I'll take three and I'll go to 32. And I'll take six. Going to 24. Done all I can here, I will pass. On your end step, I am going to activate my Voltaic Key, untap my Shorakai, activate my Shorakai. Draw two, and I will discard an island, and I will also create a pilot. I will get a life from Soulward. Up to 64. All right, and then I will go to my turn. I will untap all of my stuff, and I will go to draw my card for the turn. All right, I will tap four, and I will play Felidar Retreat. Hey, twinsies. Yeah, I will pay for the Rhystic Study. Okay. All right, I will play a Windswept Heath. Felidar Retreat will trigger. I'm gonna make a kitty cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When that happens, I will gain a life up to 65. So I'm just gonna pass the turn. Really? Uh, on your end step, Yep. we're gonna do it. We're gonna be greedy. <gasps> I'm gonna flash in a psychic possession targeting you, Jim. That's bad. Sweet. This is you a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay for both Rhystic Study and Esper Sentinel. Okay. And I'll just untap here and draw a card for my turn. Uh, because of Psychic Possession, I will also draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna play this Temple Garden untapped. Going to 22. And I'm gonna cast Solitary Confinement, taking two off of the Ancient Tomb. That'll trigger Esper Sentinel and Argothian Enchantress. Before any of those triggers resolve, I'm gonna pay three and I'm gonna cast Saw It Coming. <laughs> Which is Which so we true! Did. We did yes. see it coming, because you showed us <laughs> it was coming! Oof. There's Esper and Rhystic, and there is a spirit. Uh, I, I will give a spirit to Josh. All right. When Josh's spirit enters, I'll gain one. Up to 66. I will not pay for the Esper Sentinel. Okay. And I will not pay for the Rhystic Study. All right. And then, because you drew from Rhystic Study, I will also draw. So now we've got the Counterspell targeting yes. the Solitary Confinement on the stack with an Esper Sentinel trigger right. under it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I sure wish you hadn't done that, but I have no responses. My Esper Sentinel trigger is still on the stack? No, I'm not gonna pay. All right, I will draw. And off casting the Solitary Confinement, I'll draw a card off of Argothian Enchantress. And because of Psychic Possession, I will also draw. I'm gonna cast this Dark Ritual. Always a fair. Anytime somebody's doing this on like turn eight or nine, yeah. yeah. So I'll gain three black mana. Then I'm gonna cast Lich. Uh-oh. Ugh. Yikes. That seems like a key card in the Aether Lich deck. Seems like I should've saw that coming. Hello, I'm Lagrella the Magpie, translating today for the greatest legal mind New Capenna has ever known, Falco Spara! Caca! He wants to tell you about Mint Mobile, the premium wireless service that starts at just $15 a month. <laughs> when Falco first heard of these prices, his keen senses kicked in. There had to be a catch. <laughs> What's the catch? What's the catch? We put our best solicitors on the case and determined there isn't one. <laughs> That's right, Mint Mobile sells wireless service online only, cutting the cost of retail stores to pass the savings on to you. They give you the best rate, whether you're buying for yourself or for the whole crime family. And at Mint, families start at just two lines. Every Mint Mobile plan comes with unlimited talk and text, and you can even keep your number and known associates. With how much you could be saving, it would be criminal not to switch. Exactly. I mean, caw. To get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash extra. That's mintmobile.com slash extra. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash extra. Listen carefully, my child. I, Gorion, have done what I can to protect you. This fortress of Candle Keep will keep you safe, but I cannot help you keep your hair. For that, you will need a different kind of keep. Keeps? What's that? You are young, my ward, but two out of three men experience hair loss by age 35! And when such a fate befalls you, Keeps will give you a choice in how you look. Wowee! 
Of course, if you're feeling adventurous, bald might be the look you want. But if not, all it takes is a virtual doctor consultation and Keeps will send medication right to your gates. Results are proven and treatments start at only $10 a month. But heed this, my ward. Keeps can take four to six months to see results. So if you wait till your hair is already gone, then your cause is lost. Oh no. So stay vigilant, child, and save your hair. And I did. And it worked! If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash extra to get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash extra to get your first month free. Again, that's keeps.com slash extra. And then I'm going to cast Lich. That seems like a key card in the Aether Lich deck. Yep, and that'll trigger my Enchantress as well. Okay, uh, with the Enchantress trigger on the stack, and Lich also, I'm gonna tap my Chancery for a white and a blue. I'll use the white to activate Shurikai. I will draw two. I will make a pilot. I'll gain a life and go to 67. I will discard a circular logic, and it has madness. So I, for one blue, which was floating, will attempt to counter the Lich unless you pay, I don't know, a lot, like 10 plus. This is a disaster. Are you paying for Ristic Study? Ristic Study. Nope, you can draw it. See, uh, as a, you know, okay, yeah, exactly. That's for you. Hour more than draw. Uh, I, yeah, circular logic. I got nothing for that. So it gets countered? Yeah, it's successfully countered. Okay. Whoosh. And we can draw off the Argothian Enchantress. Thanks for playing Argothian Enchantress, Jim. Okay, well, now that uh, I've been thwarted here, there's nothing left for me to do but cast this Grasp of Fate. Mm. Uh -oh. I have no responses. I have a swamp. Sorry, I have no response. And I'll draw a card off the Argothian Enchantress. So will I. Okay, and when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to pick some targets. From Rachel, I'll target Psychic Possession. From Olivia, I'll target the Altar of Dementia. And from Josh, I'll target the Skull Clam. Uh, I have no response to the targets. So before Altar is gone, I'm gonna sacrifice five tokens. So from the five creatures dying, I will be milling 17 from their power with Altar. I will get five counters on a Lenda, bringing her up to seven. Who's milling 17? Even though they're all individual targets, all of them are gonna be pointed at Jimothy. So 17 from the top of your library to your yard. Okay, I'll count out 17 cards here. Jeez. Is there anything like important? Uh, a bunch of lands. We've got an Aether Flux Reservoir, oh, okay. Torment of Hailfire. Oh, I've done good. things! A bunch of lands. Okay. Nothing really Wind important. Cons. So Grass is still in the stack before it resolves. I'll also sack a Lenda for eight. Jimothy, eight more. Okay, I'll mill eight. I will make eight one one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink. Gross. We got a Viscera Seer, a Lana War Elves, a Sterling Grove, Counterspell. Far seek, nothing really important. Alenda dying will trigger dramatic finale and I will get a two one inkling creature token. Okay, so all those vampires are three threes and that inkling is a four three, yes. Okay, but now Grasp of Fate resolves. I'm just gonna put these over here so it doesn't gum things up. Cool. Okay, and Soul Warden sees all my new tokens, so I will gain nine life and go to 76. What? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think from there I'm just gonna pass the turn. At the beginning of Jim's end step, I will be creating an equivalent amount of spirit tokens to the ones I've made so far. Oh, crap. I will get nine. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Flying one one white spirit tokens. Alright, I am gonna respond to the Thalese yeah. trigger by evoking a solitude, pitching a touch the spirit realm. Targeting the soul warden. Are you paying the one? Yeah, I'll pay the three. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, I have no response. So warden down. Nine spirits enter, and I will and still gain one, one life <laughs> from the uh, exile. Okay, I'm going to tap my Kelpie Guide to untap my Azorius Chancery. I'm gonna sack my Windswept Heath. And I will search my library for a Tundra, and I will put that into play untapped. Felidar Retreat will trigger. I'll put a 1-1 one -one counter on all my creatures. Okay, and I do have seven mana available to me, so I'll do the thing. Are you rifting? Uh, uh oh. I was like, Monogram. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, uh, responses? Are you paying the one? Nope. <laughs> I got nothing for that. Nope. All right, it resolves. Grasp of Fate's gonna trigger when it leaves the battlefield, and you'll get all your stuff back. Neat. That was short lived. Uh, psychic possession will enter the battlefield targeting Josh. <laughs> this is the correct seems like a good yeah, correct decision. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna discard these cards. Timna's gonna go back to the command zone, and I'll attempt one more time to pass my turn. <laughs> 
Okay, I will finally untap. I skip my draw step because psychic possession is once more on the battle. Ah, <laughs> downside exists. Uh, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, I will play a forest as my land for turn, and then I'm gonna cast Overgrowth, yep. targeting a basic forest. I am it's not, two for Esper Sentinel now. I am not gonna pay the two. Okay, may as well draw because uh, you're gonna draw. And I may draw. That's I symbiotic. I don't care for this. Then I will cast a Ley Line of Anticipation. And then uh, I, I am just going to pass the turn with some mana open and I'm gonna go to clean up. I can just discard the two lands. Okay. Oh, that feels good. No yeah. problem. <laughs> I'll untap. I will draw. Definitely not using Castle Lockling to draw cards. Play a Soul Ring. Uh, Esper Sentinel, do you wanna pay two? Go ahead, you can draw. I'll draw. When Josh draws a card, I draw a card. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, mana has been my problem. Yeah. Mm. I have a very cool thing I can do. Like, way cool. I'm three mana short. How cool? Like, are we all gonna die cool, or? Like, I can kill Josh. Okay, I can actually help with, oh? with what? mana. What is it? What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, this may mean that we just died a gym, but it's too cool. All right, um, I am going to flash a, a heartbeat of spring. <laughs> it doubles everybody's Ooh. mana. You tapped out, Josh? I'm tapped out. I, uh, I am not gonna pay for Esper Sentinel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hippo be with you. The hippo is with me. <laughs> Blessings upon the hippo. I'm gonna tap Swamp Swamp Plains for six. Soul Ring for two. So a total of eight. eight. Okay. Eight mana. I will use four mana. I still and don't know what it is. 76 life for a Phyrexian processor. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will. Hold on, can I count my deck real fast? Yeah. Oh. Sure. It's gotta be less. You've been looting all game. Look at your board. You've drawn so many cards, Josh. Shut up, everybody. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is a place of glory, and I do not care. Oh, it's like 63. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I will use the remaining four to tap it and make a minion for it. It's a 76, 76. 76 okay, 76. hold on, hold on. You're paying 76 life to do this? Yeah, you gotta go down to one before this happens, just so you know. Yeah. So that at least when I die, you're at one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this Heartbreak of Spring is terrifying for a gym's yeah. turn. Well, that grasp, of fate, <laughs> that grasp of fate. Wow. And then I have a 7676 minion. Oh, that's a big minion. I think you're the minion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh. Hey. What's up, buddy? Uh. I'm going to sacrifice the 7676 minion to Altar of Dementia. <laughs> Would you mind making 76 <laughs> I don't think oh, he has so that many. Funny. I don't think he has that many cards in his library. Yes, he does. All right, well, this is very funny. We already counted it, so the whole thing goes like that. I'm gonna pass the turn to Josh. Okay, hold on, just let me think for a second. Oh, man. Get that. I yeah. upkeep. Hold on, I'm, yeah, I got an upkeep. Give me, a second. give me a moment. Just let me. Maybe there's a, somebody online to be like, I looked at your deck list. You could have done this. Because I'm activating my thing. Would you like to move classes. to your draw step? No, I wouldn't like to. Hold on. All right, I will just go quietly into the night. Oh I go man. to draw my card and I. Ah! <laughs> now that there is no longer an opponent in Josh's seat, psychic possession falls off and goes to the graveyard. And I'll just untap here and draw a card for my turn. I'm gonna cast this Soul's Attendant uh, with one white floating. Then I'm gonna use the white floating to cast a Children of Corliss, mm -hmm. and that'll gain me a life. Yeah. Going to 21. Then I'll cast this Delaying Shield. Oh yeah, this is a problem. Yeah. I'm gonna have one white floating off of that and take two off of the Ancient Tomb. Going to 19. With the one white floating, uh, I will cast Viscopa Guild Mage with one black floating. So when that enters the battlefield, that'll trigger a Soul's Attendant, and with the trigger on the stack, I'm gonna activate Viscopa Guild Mage just once. The second ability, so when I gain life and it enters, everybody is gonna lose that much life. Mm -hmm. I'll gain the life from the Soul's Attendant. Oh. Everybody will lose one. Goodbye, Cruel World. You're a great partner. <laughs> then for my land for turn, I'm gonna play a Lake of the Dead, sacrificing my godless shrine. And then I'll pass the turn. Yeah, on Jim's unstuck. I am gonna flash in a wandering archaic. Oh. And Jim, you have to make a spirit token. Yeah, I will happily make a spirit token. And I'll gain two off the spirit and the wandering archaic entering. And the Viscopa Guildmage is still active, so you'll take two off of that. Okay. 
I will untap this mess and I will go to draw. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a wood elves. It's not gonna wow. save the day. Uh, <laughs> I have a green floating. Uh, when it enters, I'll search my library for a forest, and it comes into play untapped. And when the wood elves enters, I'm gonna gain a life off the soul dependent. Yes. I will use my green mana floating to suspend a search for tomorrow. Ooh. Mm. And then I will pass the turn terrified. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to untap and draw for turn. And then I'm going to cast this tainted sigil. Hey yo. Ooh. Okay. It resolves. Then I'm going to cast my commander, Timna the Weaver. And that'll enter, and Soul's Attendant will gain me a life. Going to 24, and then I'll pass the turn. On your end step, I'm gonna cast a Dryad of Elysian Grove. Oh. And when that enters, I'll gain another life. So I have a green mana floating. Uh, I'm gonna use it to cast Karuga. Hey. Karuga! Yeah. Another Souls Attendant trigger. Yeah. Go to 26. When Kruga enters the battlefield, I will draw seven cards. That seems good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. And then uh, I'm going to cast Factor Fiction. Ooh, we need more cards. Okay. okay. All right. So I will reveal the top five cards of my library. And how would you like to split those up? I might regret this, but I'm going to put the Foundation Breaker in one pile and the other four in the other pile. Interesting. Okay. I think I have to take the Foundation Breaker. Ah, I'm going to send these. Correct. I send these to the yard. So I am going to evoke a foundation breaker and I'm gonna blow up the sigil. Uh, when that enters, I'm gonna gain a life. Uh, yes. And I'd like to respond. Please. By getting the heck out of here. Teferi's protection. Mm. Yikes. Okay. Um, I will respond to the Teferi's protection. I will cast Fractured Identity targeting the guild mage. Uh, yeah, you got it. Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, precious. <laughs> I have this beautiful Viscopa Guildmage token, token that I prepared earlier. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the Viscopa Guildmage token enters, I'll gain another life. And then Teferi's Protection resolves? Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Wandering archaic triggers, but it doesn't matter. And that's it for me, I'm gonna pass. Okay, I will untap all of my things. Uh, upkeep trigger, my search for tomorrow. <laughs> and I draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Lair of the Hydra as my land for turn. Because I have Dry to the Leasing Grove, I can play a second land. I'll play a Maze Pit. And then I am going to foretell a card. Okay, I will pass the turn. Yeah, I'll untap. Oh, no, first your face back in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> draw a card. And I'm gonna play an Inventor's Fair. Inventor's yeah. Unfair, am I right? <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast this Act of Authority. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, that resolves. Okay. When it resolves, I'm going to target the ley line of anticipation. That's what I was afraid of. I will respond to you targeting the ley line of anticipation. Okay. And I will cast a ghostly prison. Mm -hmm. I'll leave a white floating. I'll cast a propaganda. Okay. And uh, I'll cast a far haven elf. That'll enter. Mm -hmm. And I'll gain a life. Yep. Uh, it'll enter and I will search for another land, tapped, and um, I am going to also flash in my commander. Yep, you got it. Uh, it'll enter and I'll gain a life. Go to 30. Active authority resolves and that'll exile my ley line. Then I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap all of my things and I will draw for turn. Um, I'm gonna pay a blue. I'm gonna return Feldegriff to my hand. Uh, and Jim, you may draw a card because you are the only player remaining. Wow. What? A wow. gift from the hippo. Thank you. And I will attempt to, so I have a blue floating from the island, and I will attempt to cast the foretold doom scar. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I have no responses to that. All right. Bye, critters. Pass the board. Okay. I, I forgot my search for tomorrow, but this does go off, and I will go get a basic. Oh, nice. Doomscar resolved, and I will cast Feldegriff, and then I'll cast Intruder Alarm, and then I will attempt to cast Dingus Staff. <laughs> got a Dingus Staff. All right, um, and then pay two green, and I will activate the Lair of the Hydra. So it is now a creature, but it is also a land. So I'm gonna pay a green and activate Feldegriff's green ability, which will give her trample. 
and will also give you a 1-1 one, one Hippo token. Aw, oh, thanks. Which untaps all creatures, including Lair of the Hydra, because of Intruder Alarm. I can activate the Lair of the Hydra again, give you another Hippo. Aw, oh, thanks. When that enters, I will untap Lair of the Hydra. Hippos add And I can give you infinite number of Hippos. Aw, oh, thanks. So I can give you as many Hippos as I want, Jim, and you have to fit them in your carry-on uh, when you go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so you're gonna have to find space for 15,000 Hippos. I think I can swing that. Uh, All right, 15,000 15, Hippos. 15,000 Hippos. Yeah. Uh, and That's every time I activate zoo. this, I am netting one mana because of Heartbeat of Spring. So I have 15,000 okay. green floating mana. Uh, I'm gonna use it to cast Angel's Trumpet in case something goes terribly wrong, and I'm also gonna use it to cast and equip a uh, sort of Feast and Famine to Feldegrift. And you oh, know yeah. what? Thank God Mana Burn's gone. Woo! Yeah, I am gonna attempt to cast Wrath of God. Oh no. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, because oh, of the no. dingus thing? And you will be punished. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. For your massacre of 15,000 Okay, hippos. we've got a plan. Wrath of God is gonna resolve. Okay. Okay, it's gonna destroy all of my hippos and I will take two damage for, for each, each one. hippo. So I'm gonna take 30,000 damage. Delaying Shield, though, will prevent it, and I'm going to put 30,000 counters oh, on Delaying Shield. <laughs> I'm out of zeros for the 30. Uh... Yeah, okay, that's 30,000. Okay, okay. okay. good. Got 30,000 right, 30, counters <laughs> okay. on Delaying Shield. This rules. Seldegriff goes back to the zone. Lair of Hydra dies as well. Because of Dingus Staff, I take four damage for my own creatures. All right, I will pass my turn. In my upkeep, I yes. have two triggers. Right. Yes. One for active authority and yes. one for oh, delaying crap. shield. <gasps> nice! I would like to stack them such that active authority resolves first, destroying the Very delaying good. shield. Very good! Wow! That's sweet! I didn't, that's on board and I didn't look at that. Wow! <laughs> So it destroys, and then when that trigger resolves, there's, there's no, no there's counters. no counters. There's, there's no, no counters yep. to remove. Holy cow! The laying shield Very gets good. exiled, and you will get the act of authority. And then I will draw a card. I'm gonna play a sea of clouds, and then I will cast a words of worship with one white floating, and then I'm gonna use the one white floating to cast Island Sanctuary. <laughs> sure. That is the last card in my hand. Okay. But I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna cast Timna the Weaver. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. I'll go to my end step. Angel's Trumpet is gonna trigger, tapping my Timna, and I'll take one damage. Okay. I will untap and draw a for turn. Uh, I'm gonna pay two blue, two white, two green, and I will bring Feldegriff back out. And I'm gonna cast this Lay Weaver. Oh, sweet. Ooh. And I will pass the turn right back to you, Jim. Okay. And on my end step, my Angel's Trumpet will trigger. It will tap both my creatures and I will lose two life. Go to 26. Okay, let me just untap all my stuff. And I'll draw a card for turn, so the Island Sanctuary is gonna be offline this turn. And then I'm gonna cast Combal Console of Allocation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spicy meatball. Well, uh, I'm just gonna pass to you. Hang on one second. Uh, before your end step, you're gonna get some more hippos. Okay. I'm gonna pay 14 to give you 14 hippos and a spirit token. Okay, there are 14. 14 hippos and a spirit. And then on your end step, yes. Angel's Trumpet will trigger. So I'll tap my guys. All your creatures that did not attack. And I will take 17 damage. 17 damage. That's gonna take me to 12. All right, I will untap this mess and I will go to draw. All right, um, I am going to pay two and I'm going to give the Sword of Feast and Famine to Feldegriff. Uh, I am, this is nothing. I'm gonna play a flagstone of Trocare so I will stop looking at it. And then I will go to combat. And Jim, I will attack you with a Lay Weaver and a Feldegriff with a sword. No blocks, I'll take eight. You take eight, four. six of that hippo damage. Uh, I have no cards in hand. I will pass the turn. Uh, the Angel's Trumpet triggers, but because I attacked with all of my creatures, uh, I take no damage. Nice, I'll untap. And then I'm gonna draw a card, so Island Sanctuary will be offline again. Then I'm gonna move to combat. Yes. You have to pay four for each one. Oh, um, well, that Angel's Trumpet, I think is just gonna kill me. I, I got nothing here. <laughs> I think if I pass the turn, you're just gonna make more hippos, right? Yeah, okay. I think the only thing to do is give you more hippos. Yeah, I think the only thing to do is for me to concede. So, <laughs> good game. 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 The hippos did it! Good game. Wow. Good game. Yes! Victoria. Angel's trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Woohoo! You made it to the end of the episode. Congratulations, Rachel! You you did it. I didn't think you had it in you. But you but you did it. The hippos did it. The hippo reigns supreme. Right. All the decks were super cool. I, I loved um the one play where Olivia <laughs> milled out Josh. The, you know what? Olivia gets like the 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 second prize. Yeah, she I know, gets, the, like, I know the moral the gym victory. technically who got second, but uh, Olivia gets the moral victory for being able to mill out Josh twice on camera in her career. Both with Alter of Dementia too. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, um, uh, upcoming Feldegriff ban? Uh, probably. Probably, right? <laughs> it seems super powerful. But yeah, if there are any of these cards that you thought were cool, I know there are a lot of ones that I had never heard of. A uh, Dingus I Egg? Need myself a Dingus, Dingus Egg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, you can head on over to channelfireball.com slash commands. That's the best place to go to buy all your singles, all your sealed products, anything that you could ever want magic related. Uh, they have an excellent marketplace, tons of sellers, great prices. Uh, all the sellers are vying for your purchase, so they provide excellent service, and it's just a joy to use the uh, Channel Fireball marketplace. Uh, again, channelfireball.com slash command, and if you forget to put in the slash command, which I've been known to do, uh, you can just type command in at checkout, and it'll do the same thing and help out awesome content that you love. Uh, another one of our sponsors is Ultra Pro. Uh, Ultra Pro makes all of the deck boxes, all of the sleeves, all of the playmats, especially. I love Ultra Pro playmats. Uh, they're the only playmats that I use. I have like 10 of them and- You only have 10, come on. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever like bought a playmat except for one. I think I have like, And it was an Ultra Pro playmat that I, I, measure, I bought. <laughs> I measure my playmats in like yardage. Well, that's the like, thing, right? Like <laughs> you don't need to get extra playmats if you use Ultra Pro playmats because they're such good quality. Like they have excellent artwork. They're great quality. They don't fall apart. They don't fray at the edges and yeah, it just looks cool. Let's not forget about this playmat right here. Yes. Go on over right now, get your special tiger, archer, lightning playmat. Before the, actual the storm. Name, before the storm, there yep. we go. Uh, because it looks great and it helps support the commands on. Yeah, looks awesome. Usually we've done uh, playmats that are like after the battle or in the middle of the battle, but this is the calm right before the storm. This is what's happening right before the battle ensues. It's a and lightning storm. I think it's one of the most beautiful pieces that uh, we've ever put on a playmat, that's for sure. For sure. But yeah, if you want to check that out, head on over to Kickstarter, link is in the description. You can check that out, but yeah. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank Have you so one. much. Bye.